been struggling to access clean water. Israel controls a majority of the freshwater resources in the occupied West Bank. And in Gaza, a 16-year blockade and military operations have had a devastating impact on the water supply. Rising temperatures and sea levels are only making life more difficult. While in Israel, residents don't have to worry about taps running dry. People in power examines this growing disparity. Gaza Strip is a war zone. There has been an attack in the last few minutes. How many civilians, innocent civilians, have to pay the price for this madness? No normal country could allow this to happen. Israel had to respond. Israel had to launch this preemptive strike. Daily raids, daily demolitions. The conflict is again reaching a boiling point. Terror is running low and my water is running low. Once again, it's the Palestinian people who pay the price. Water is life, especially in one of the most water-scarce regions in the world. In Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories, millions of people live next to the sea. But you can't use seawater for drinking, washing or agriculture. Monitoring groups say Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories have a water deficit. They use much more water every year than can be replenished naturally. As temperatures rise and droughts are drawn out, water sources are drying up. Whoever controls the water controls the people. Israel can remedy all the problems, but this is a part of a political decision not to do so. Israel is a water superpower and Israeli authorities have the power to turn on and turn off the taps in the occupied Palestinian territories. Water is vital to life, but in Palestine it's also a powerful weapon. Sharif Shaheen, a farmer near Hebron in the occupied West Bank, laments the devastating effect of water shortages on agriculture. This is death. High losses because of the lack of water. It's zero outcome, affecting 10 families who depend on this produce. Israel has controlled all water resources in the occupied Palestinian territories since 1967. Restrictive policies mean Palestinians cannot build or maintain any water infrastructure without a military permit. Mekrot, the Israeli Water Authority, has been accused of favoring illegal Israeli settlers and reducing quotas in Palestinian areas to insufficient levels. We are seriously looking into what the Israeli water company Mekrot has done in terms of reducing the water quotas allocated to the governors of Hebron and Bethlehem. This is a dangerous, racist and discriminatory measure that deprives our people in these two governors of their most basic rights to water. While the occupying state is doubling the quantities of water for the benefit of colonial settlers. To cope, Residents are resorting to costly alternatives, buying water at three times the regular price. Some are constructing makeshift wells, but they quickly run dry under the scorching sun. It's nonsense that I have to keep suffering. I don't have 200 shekels. Every month I have to buy two tanks of water. Palestinian officials and local farmers agree that the situation is untenable. If Israeli settlement expansions continue, they know water supplies and distribution will continue to suffer, as Israel uses the most vital resource to push Palestinians further into desperation. We're like sitting on a Titanic ship. Everyone is going to hit the iceberg. Decades of Israeli occupation have left Palestinians